Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Everhart Museum's Second Sunday Folk Arts Series. My name is Kimberly Crafton, and I have the pleasure of being in the home and studio of Kathy Wong. The Second Sunday Folk Arts Series is a way that, through a partnership with the Pennsylvania Council on the Arts, we have the great honor and pleasure of visiting from across our region, folk artists and traditional artists from a great number of different backgrounds, different countries, different culture bases. And these artists dwell in our six county region. That is in the Pocono Mountains, Wayne and Pike County, in the Valley Cities, Susquehanna, I'm sorry, in the Valley Cities, Lackawanna and Luzerne counties, and in the Endless Mountains, Susquehanna and Wyoming counties across many different geographies, many different kinds of towns and places, across the rivers, across the industrial places and the farms, come all of these wonderful people to share with us their traditions, their upbringing, their family stories, and why it is that that passion for their art has kept them going for decades and, in, and across generations of their families. For folk arts truly are, sometimes passed from family member to family member or from a mentor to a student and on. And that chain of the tradition and the art continues to be passed from person to person. So we're excited to be here to talk with Kathy and to learn her story. Kathy, I feel like we could sit here all week and not begin to really get the understanding of your full journey, but I think we have just be able to get just the taste of it and learn about your instrument, learn about what it means to you and how you bring it into the community in so many wonderful ways. So welcome. We're happy to be here. Thank you for including me and the interesting about another cultures, right. mm. culture and music and art. I know you have such deep interest in the interconnection of cultures and in the ways that um, we have almost a responsibility to teach each other about our cultures and to be open to learning about other cultures. And I know, I think everything I have learned of you is that this is part of the core of why you continue on in this art almost as, a, as an ambassador of... Oh, thank you for saying that. But <laughs> It is. Uh, it's uh, my pleasure, actually, to be a immigration, a foreign, uh, grow up to a new country. I always consider the culture exchange is very important. You need to let other people understand you. As same important as you want to understand the others. And uh, language, most time, it's a barrier. And, but the music, it's international language. No one need to learn. You just like a way listen to Italian opera. Mm. Know anyone, understand the, the words other than you already studied on it, right? But you can just go with the flow, the emotion, exactly the same way. When I play a traditional classical Chinese piece, a lot of people can have a joy, can bring their tear on, and can make them think a lot of things because mm -hmm. that piece of music. So I really realized from that point, music instrument actually it's a proper tool mm -hmm. to open each heart. Doesn't matter where this person come from, what type of background they have, what their upbringing, it, doesn't really matter at that point. As long as you can understand the same piece of music in the same way. I love what you said about it being a tool to open the heart, because that's where we really connect with each other across cultures. You know, we, we don't, it's more difficult to connect with the brain to really understand something fully, but the heart is easy uh, and stronger connections, I think. Mm -hmm. So coming through music is a perfect way. Music, while it is a, an international language, as you said, that, that crosses the 
boundaries of language. It's also, to me, interesting that it's held in different regard depending on which culture you come from. How was music perceived or treated or used when you were growing up in China? Yeah, that's a very good question and I have a very interesting background behind. I grew up in the Cultural Revolution when I was very young. The first one, they put this way. In Asian China, and uh, any type of instrument all belong to the emperor. Mm -hmm. So have to be very higher official for the empire or their uh, help, able to afford a instrument, mm -hmm. able to afford a symphony or chamber, not no symphony at that time, to so perform chamber, chamber music chamber was played for them. Mm -hmm. So at that time, the same instrument that we call this guzheng, now it's a 21 string um, plug instrument. Back then, maybe just a 13 string. And the string, it is not made by the uh, metal and nylon, it's a silk. Oh, wow. And the played by the musician's real nail. So they would grow their nails long yes. to act as, yes. as uh, picks. So you need to know, at that time, the chamber got to be very, like acoustic, it's pretty good. So the other people able to hear, right. like a, when I started to learn, actually, Gu Zheng played with the artificial plug on the nail side. Then things, the, the instrument developed and the, the string getting more harder, it's like, like a uh, harp or even the pianos, right. like a metal inside and melon and on the, the outside. Real nail and able to handle it anymore. Wow. So the entire Gu Zheng technique changed, switched the, the plug from the nail side to the in. The inside, opposite. And you side. have one of these taped to each of your fingers. Yes. Wow. And those are a synthetic, or are they made out of a bone? You can be a, a horn, and okay. it can be uh, any like a synthetic, uh, or pretty much uh, anything. It's hard. Also, can make a tone very good with the, the string. And uh, from when I was young, we learned like a we only do three fingers. Uh, with artificial plug, and later on to be four. And now the new tech pretty much can go to the jazz and all the others, and we, we do two hand. Oh my goodness. Yeah, left hand. Left hand often come over to play melody also, wow. so they require. But the, for certain traditional classical piece, I still prefer my left without the plug because of the tone will be different. So yes, I, 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 I could instantly you feel the difference the, yeah, of the, the acoustic look. Same, so yeah. it's it's different. So I like if you have opportunity without a very strong like a heavy piece, I like left my left hand free. So, mm. so that's a, the uh, develop. Then for beginning the new China and uh, everything all pretty excited instrument to like a, a student go learn and the conservative uh, school it's uh, worked very hard both professor and the student until the point 1966 everything all stopped everything this especially the traditional Chinese instrument Gu Qin, Gu Zheng, even Er Hu, anything with classical all be criticized. Mm. It is the like a old emperor's luxury. Yes. All uh, at that time, the most uh, mm, how to say fancy in time words is bourgeoisie. Bourgeois. Yeah, yes, bourgeois. Yes. It's not a 
not the labor. Yes, it's the not of the people. People are supposed to have. It's of the ruling class that we are now working to, you know, get back to the society based on the people and not based on the ruling class. Yeah. Is that accurate? Yeah. Okay. Super. So, the one school all closed. All, no one supposed to be play anything. So the young generation really have no any source at all. Oh, wow. Like a, I'm the most lucky one, which is I always I always teasing them. My middle name is Lucky, <laughs> yeah, but it is true. And uh, my piano teacher live in the third floor on top of where all in the condominium uh, area. That's uh, the compound, like a uh, entire university area. So I can walk to him mm. to to learn to play. Then when I started as as a Chinese, I do like learn my tradition. You know, like most the instrument can stand for traditional Chinese, and that will be the gu qin. I'll show you, and which is a seven string without bridge instrument. But at that time, it is very difficult in the Cultural Revolution. Either people hide away, some people bury their instrument under the ground for how deeper or something. Do for not safety. have it removed? Would, would, were they being taken away, the instrument? Yeah, if they haven't to be taken away, they, oh, they, they are pretty um, quick sense for the political yeah. uh, way. Shit. So yes. they just get in. Other ways will be all, uh, all destroyed. Wow. Then through one of my parents' old colleague, I be able to find from the conservative uh, school, like old student, Gu Zheng. Actually, I'm looking for this Gu Jin, and I, I never say it, but uh, they find this Gu Zheng. This Gu Zheng, it's very good too. At least uh, it's a, uh, similar, it's, it's a traditional uh, uh, instrument. Mm, I really re remember, I wish I have a picture, maybe can dig in, mm -hmm. I, I, I couldn't figure out. Very small, narrow, 13 string, and uh, for the music student to practice. Mm, so and like the, a, a practice? Yeah, not the... Uh, Guzheng or Guzheng? Guzheng. Yeah. Guzheng. That's the only thing I can locate it through all the context. Wow. And, uh, but, Things it's cultural revolution. Everything will be banned, and the, the bridge, all gone. Uh -huh. No, no bridge. For a bridge instrument without bridge, you just couldn't no. do anything at all. So, and the, I will say there's a, another luck. It's a the technician Professor Lin, and the Professor Lin is the first person in China to build Chinese piano, actually. Wow. And by hand? By hand. He just was so good. In a way, I really feel mm, so regret. I haven't followed him to learn to do things. I like music instrument that much, but mm -hmm. anyway, that's past. He overheard from my piano teacher, I finally found a Gu Zheng without bridge. Mm -hmm. Do you know what he did? <laughs> he made whole sets bridge yeah. for me. Used the, like a, the piano wood or yeah. a very hard wood. I still had one. I should make a, a like a, a necklace yeah. to put on. I really, and the one night he just, because he always go to my piano teacher's house will pass us or come down passing us. So pretty late almost midnight knock the door and uh, when I open the door I just hear you are. Don't say anything. Practice the harder as you can. Oh it it is really bring the tear out to yeah. me. Right. Yeah. He just uh, my parents are the geology and astrology professor and another the same department. They may just uh, gesture, say hi with each other, not a close friend or something. He just know a one want to learn the instrument uh, without this bridge and able to do it. It would be impossible. He just 
volunteer his time and the skill, the whole set. So that's my first Gu Zheng with that 13 Professor Lin made bridge. Thank you, Professor Lin, for, for opening up entire worlds, you know, it and is. you have continued. You have continued to build bridges your whole life because of those bridges. It is. You got the point. That's the bridge because <laughs> Professor Lin made the bridge for a new generation. Yeah. So I carry this instrument with bridge. My instrument, not this one, it's another one downstairs. This one, my mom gave to me. That's my dearest uh, uh, instrument. I have another one when I uh, hold the position WHO support Tibet. Mm -hmm. So that one is up to Tibet, really? performed over there. Oh. That one we shipped to North Europe and uh, went with me to uh, Europe to settle in Germany. So I that instrument played in a lot of places in Germany, in Berlin, Humboldt University, and Technology University, any um, like a music uh, activity events or something, I'll be uh, there. So that instrument, it is really a travel <laughs> one too. So, so many places to go. So, bridge everywhere. So, any place I go, this 21 bridge will help me to build a bridge to the other people, other nationality, and speak in the same language or not, I think they really contribute what they, they can do. Mm -hmm. um, before we continue on, I think at this point, learning your story about bridges, could would you play a little something for us? Okay. And, and we will have another where we get to really focus in on you and the, the music, but maybe just something to give people a little taste of the sound of this. Okay. Things we have uh, so many uh, rivers, um, so I like to uh, play something with rivers. Fisherman's joy, okay?
are there words for it? Just flow is the like a fisherman's destiny after finishing the whole day working and they're joyfully try to have a little computation. Let's see the encouragement because everyone's tired. Let's see which boat go to the uh, harbor first. Mm. So they should so that's pretty joyful. Because I, it was, there were several things happening inside of me, which is, I, I wish you all had the experience to be this physically close. And, and I hope that you get a chance to do that sometime. Because there's a, a vibrational energy that's coming off of this instrument. And it, it, it has a physicality to it that you feel. But at the same time, the music itself was carrying me along a river, as you were saying, and all of the different moods of the river, and that's what's so incredible about living bodies that are in motion. You know, they have all these different rhythms and feelings and and moments, and um, and and it carried us across every one. So that was a, it was a journey in and of itself. So, the music was the language they communicated in between us. That's right. Excellent. That's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I've noticed as you are playing, so your your right hand is doing the, the plucking, as you're the, saying. The melody. Mm -hmm. Is there, there must be a vibration happening yes. across the board because when you are moving up and down with your hand, notes are changing that you have not plucked. Yeah. So the energy that happens from a note that you pluck is, is going underneath another string so as you're pushing down on a string that was not plucked, it's still changing the tone of the string that had been plucked. Is that accurate? Your question really brings to the secret of the instrument. Mm. Uh, like any traditional Chinese instrument, they are like a, uh, not like a Western. They only have like a five tone. Okay. Pentatonic. So this from here. So, so a regular instrument has a pentonic five tone. Only D, E. So no half step. Basically no F, no B. So, but the music all have everything. Any piece of music we mm -hmm. play. So what the, my left hand is help to bring this one, if I want to say. Also, a, we call um, uh, what's the slurred like a oh to wheel. bend to yeah. bend a note. So it's a special tack. Some some tone I don't want to straight from this tone. So I want from the one tone below and come up there. Come yeah, up a slide. See this here, this one. Yeah. So that's the left hand. When I'm on the this side of the bridge, when I come in to the this side of the bridge, the perform will be the same. Like a, if you did not go beyond the bridge, yeah. If you stay pretty much the right. Right. here, you can hear this. It's a noise. Nothing. You know, if we, like more way we want to move some like a very uh, scary <laughs> or some some tone, you can come over here. So also another way we can use this side too. You have to uh, to add it. It's really. Like a, can um, express more than any other instrument. I've, actually, I've, I'm absolutely it's believe much that. better than uh, piano. Much. No, any other instrument able to, for the impression can, uh, can compare with this instrument. 
like a key instrument. Any instrument have more string or more key and more um, tech mm -hmm. technique, and you need to practice more. So compare with another pipa, have a, like a, a five string. We call thousand years pipa and uh, ten thousand years gojeng. Ten because, thousand yeah, years. Because yeah, because you got it. It means you have to practice more. Yeah. Of course, you couldn't live that long, <laughs> but uh, it's 21 string. Mm -hmm. You got it. all the technique mm, mastered that will be the years. Well, that, I think that was my next question. So when the professor, you, you open the door and he gives you the gift of the bridges, how old were you? Uh, mm, eight or oh, nine. So it was that year mm -hmm. that you began to start. It. To start. Mm -hmm. You make it look so easy to bend those notes, whether slow or fast. Or uh, how did you feel about it when you were nine and you thought you could oh, do it? Like, <laughs> like a big job. It is really difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really. Did you? Um, who was your teacher? in those days or were you self-teaching until you could find a teacher? Yeah, in the very beginning you have to just uh, uh, learn something, play a little bit by yourself, but uh, uh, really officially can see, learn, study, that'll be the uh, the first generation uh, Guzheng guru in Beijing uh, Music Conservative. Um, he passed away a long time ago, Cao Zheng, Mr. It is, uh, like a, a beginning that classical uh, music all arranged by him so, or from the like a folk song or something right and that he arranged it, it's perfect for Gu Zheng to play so he was taking folk songs and arranging them in a classical traditional style yes. so he was already doing a, the a, fingering a kind of a, yeah, yeah fingering have to good for Gu Zheng instead of other instruments okay mm -hmm. that's perfect um, and so now you understand why I said we could spend a week and really begin to enjoy this conversation. But because we don't have a week, um, I want to skip to a part where Kathy, in addition to spending her life dedicated to this and other instruments, also went to medical school in Beijing and became a medical doctor. And as you can tell, also it was emigrating and coming to the United States and beautiful adventures along the way. But I really want to give her a moment to discuss, um, you know, the, the transition um, of, or the, the interplay of music and being a doctor and how the, the philosophy and music and tonality and medicine all work together in in your life and through your music so and I don't even know where to begin to ask about that so I'm just going to say you know as you as you want to discuss that with us yes let's uh, put this way uh, I think because I'm come from a medical doctor's family my both side the grandparents uh, grand uncle other my than my um, parents their professor in science, but uh, I be like a uh, learned and influenced mm -hmm. by the entire traditional Chinese medicine medical theory as I grew up. So, want to be a doctor. Uh, I think that thought in me when I was probably four or five years old, very young. Of course, I like music very much, but I don't think will be conflict because uh, if you know a little bit of like a Chinese character, the character music, yue, just like a three stroke different with herb, with herb medicine, or herb herbal, herbal medicine. yes, yeah. Just a like a name, the straw, like a plant. Really, is the same character, only add a plant 
there will be the medicine or herb and the rest is written. And uh, from the really ancient time, the first medical book, they special had a like a chapter just teach the uh, next generation, the doctor, how the music can heal the people. Mm. Actually, this is through entire Chinese medicine theory. We consider every disease or illness come from the anger. Your energy passing way blocked in where this doesn't matter from which channel, which mm. system, which meridian, but that is a blockage happened to you. But the healing and to the music. Mm. So, so I really, the older I grow and uh, my uh, career, like uh, experience as a medical doctor and uh, my musical practice and uh, learning, I like really deeply realized that. But uh, when your life reached to a certain point, you are free, you, you really understand what's the real life meaning to you, to the entire world too. I think at this point, you should pick an instrument mm -hmm. to practice just benefit for yourself. For example, the, oh, any, any instrument, as long as your 10 finger, 10 point, it's touching, it's moving. So this way, you think about from brain and the, the bring your energy up to your lung pathway, and the, you can have the reaction and come back and memorize the music. I think it, it is a very beautiful healing for anyone. It's very from, uh, traditional Chinese uh, medicines, uh, meridian system, like a, the small finger, we have a, like a, a small intestine and the heart and the spleen, all the, uh, we call san jiao, triple burner, pericardial, larger intestine and the lung. So your entire system, both sides is parallel. All open. Pretty much you do not need to go there to do the acupuncture, acupressure, or take any herb, something. As long as you practice one of the instrument every day, that is the treatment for you already. Mm -hmm. Self-treatment, self-healing. So eventually, it's very, if you spend more time to learn the piece, any piece of music, the, all the tone, when you're young, you like to sing, so during you play it, will bring a lot of joy and a good memory, or even bad memory, bring the tear out of you. That is a detoxing mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. Do it. So, like I always look the entire world, unfortunately, this era we're in, certain people research doing this one, have nuclear, have some, is that necessary? Give you an instrument, go there to enjoy it. And I think it will bring this world more pretty. Really, this is from really deep in my heart. I really feel our education system need to realize this and started to like stress this from kindergarten, elementary school. Mm -hmm. And it, it taught, um, reframing it as a necessary part of our physical and mental and community wellness yeah. and not as um, you know something that that you can do or not you know mm -hmm. as an optional to make it as a, as a necessary mm -hmm. is what you're saying is that it will from a young age yep. really make those connections of wellness through the pressure points and the, the acupuncture lines into yes. our organs into our you couldn't afford to go to a doctor every day, right. but you can afford <laughs> to practice anything, use your 10 finger and benefit for yourself. And benefit for yourself, it means benefit for this community, mm -hmm. for your family, right. for this world. Yeah. Okay, we need all the, um, both physical and mental beauty and health.
we really that's the, that's the only thing we need in this world otherwise we're bringing our bedraggled unhealthy selves into everyone else's circle and bringing their levels down as well yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> it is and you create a lot of negative energy to the surrounding old neighbors and just continue this yeah. life will be just go this way so it's, it was funny that even when you were talking about needing to put your ten fingers on something energetically I felt an activation there was connection just because we were talking about it and thinking about it I could feel my fingers w woke up and I hadn't realized that they were asleep you are the most bright person <laughs> I ever met any moment in this world dance music play where the power come from yeah ground have yeah. you seen my position yeah all my all my taken the yeah. energy yeah. i received from bottom my feet from yeah. the ground yeah so and through all my body uh, the energy pathway meridian yeah. system and uh, drop to this one point right so i can control how soft i want to be and I can control how loud, how loud I can. So same instrument. Yeah. So completely how I use. I it's a gong fu, just like any tai chi or taekwondo, anything. Pretty much I'm use the chi to generate my body, and I move this chi from the ground universe. I borrow the universe mm -hmm. chi through my body. But at that point you return it. Yes. You know, you yes, are using right. it for this. Oh, sure. And it's back. it's the perfect recycling system, you know, you send it back and it goes yep. back in and comes. I, I absolutely love the concept of, of that because we we have to be connected to something and I think otherwise I should other than gravity I'm just float someplace yeah. and I'm able to put my energy to any other strings I mean yeah. muscle. So you have to practice, use your chi or your energy, the modern world to say. And it's, it's as you said, you know, what's going on in the outside world. It will be a different story each day, but if you look at it in the broader spectrum, it's the same story. Over it is. And over For and that over young and age, across history. even adult couldn't do anything what I can do, right? So yeah. I better just practice some technique. Yeah. Of the, the, instrument is a, a, will benefit for me even today or the future anytime how amazing that as a child you recognize that you, you looked at a situation that was way beyond the control of anyone in your life anyone in your you know it, it, of a city of how many million people and nobody could figure out what to do to to fix the situation so you're thinking as a child what because probably I'm, what am I I'm supposed so to do, we, weaker person. I'm not brave to go out to fight with anyone. So never me. I'm I'm not picked that way. So I'm just okay. Maybe I better focus. Yeah, I better do my uh, instrument. Not knowing the, how how ultimately powerful uh -huh. that is. Yeah. And and how. True Until true. one day, and I realize this is my weapon. <laughs> it is. We can consider it this way can open anything is better than their hammer or even shotgun yeah. or anything. It yeah. is. Because you can you can They only can open the door but I can open someone's heart. Yeah. And they can stop a heart but they cannot heal it and no. they cannot open it into new yeah. dimensions. So yeah. it's what what is more powerful. Yep. So yes. this is the life. And and it, it is one of the things that really teaches us intercommunication. Even if there's someone, you could be having a, a fight with someone, mm -hmm. but you can still sit down and play a song and communicate together in a positive way. Yes. When you might not know how to speak to them mm -hmm. in another way, especially as children, we haven't, you know, developed all of our knowings of how to get around or through a difficult situation yet. Yeah. But, but music can can, can teach us them know that there's a way feel, to go. It's very when they have a anger and they become. Um, so when the person is calm, they can think different. Everything. Yeah, when some person is very sad, you can lead them like a really uh, to be back to the normal level and uh, really can calmly to think the entire situation can make the decision much mm. like a correct, not like a 
on the special mood that was always wrong. You couldn't do anything like that. So that's just so important for the uh, for our society, actually. How traditional Chinese medicine theory with Western medicine is different. Traditional Chinese medicine think entire body is one unit, whole whole body, not a part, not a only have a head or an arm or something if an arm has a problem and uh, we just uh, treat the arm. It's not, you need to see why this arm is pain. It's, it's uh, the neck problem or follow the meridian system to see where's other area. Like uh, for example, um, diabetes uh, leg, the discolor and uh, by the, uh, Western medicine in the future, there'll be the amputate. But for our medication uh, theory, we need the first one analyze what the reason made this person's diabetes develop. It's a kidney weak, or the spleen, or the liver with kidney together, and what's the result? And we work around to this um, major system together and made the patient the entire team all up and this just recover most western medicine even i am the western medicine trainer right. it's technology developed yes but the word the make sense the most the basic uh, philosopher of, of real science is traditional chinese medicine we really just look basic in and young. Some it's up, young it's up, some it's down, yin it's up. No anyone can, against my theory, it's anyone can see now it's a daytime. No, it's a nighttime. So, so basic, really the basic, but it makes sense. If people know, just so simple, just follow. The four season, if summer, you just wear a little less clothes. So just, just that easy. You just don't try to find this compound, another virus. The common sense of wellness yep. versus the complexity of illness. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference there. Yes, quite different. Okay, now prelude for this long, we come to the point how this traditional Chinese medicine related with music. Or we see five elements meet the five tone, okay? Uh, just add a little bit of traditional Chinese medicine theory. Started with yin yang, only two, either yang or yin. Um, every Every place, everywhere, every part of the body all have yang and yin, different percentage. So if there's a yin, there will be yang. There's yang will be yin, never separate. If separate, only separate is one person finish their life. Mm -hmm. They will, will completely separate. But in between, either more yang, less yin, or more yin, less yang. Certain different, um, percentage. Our body is the same way too. You, one person come to this world based on your parents' age and their happiness, their um, stress. You have a original, you come to this world with a certain percent young energy and certain percent in energy. That is in modern medicine theory, it's genetic. So very easy, just use in yang, you can understand. Right. You just came different. That's why you say one parent have a nine children, they are all different. Because when they form, your parents' health age is different. So they are differently different. So then later on, their behavior is different. They are just okay. Nothing is identical like this. But the only yin and the yang, it's not good enough to let the people to 
understand what happened to our body. So the traditional Chinese medicine developed to five elements because they realized this is really basic principle scientists. Entire this world come down to the end. It's plant, we call wu, like fire, earth, dirt, metal, water. These five elements, doesn't matter how the human society like changed this many, many years, thousands, millions, one century by another, never can change this because this is so basic. It doesn't matter, you go to Chile, you go to Italian, you go to North Pole, entire this universe built by these five elements. That's what we use these five elements. And we also considered, because this medicine will consider the human body, so we consider the people's liver, it's wood, it's the plant, and the heart, it's a fire, and the spleen, it's the earth, then continue, metal, it's the lung, and water, it's kidney. So this five elements represents uh, all this five most important organ represent th these five elements inside our body. On top of this, from very beginnings theory, it's yin and yang. Every yin have a yang. So this main organ all have a yang partner. What I mentioned before, it's yin organ, full of blood. So livers, yang organs, gallbladder, then heart, young organs, small intestine. Then uh, spleens, young organs, stomach. Lungs, young organs, larger intestine. This then kidney, the young organ, it's a uh, bladder. So they always work together. When your liver has some problem, your gallbladder will help first because they're neighbors. They are partners, they're young and in, they naturally will help each other. Um, so the same way, and the, uh, the bladder will help your kidney, larger intestine will help your lung, and the uh, uh, stomach will help the spleen, uh, also the small intestine will help your heart. So this is their, their relationship. So come to the music tone, we like a five tone as a uh, pentatonic uh, toning, like a, a G and a, is a, happened, it's for your uh, spleen and a, a C, it's uh, work on your stomach, spleen. It's, so that's why certain key melody will really uh, help you release your uh, toxin in your system or uh, really calm your mood down. This tone comes very often to benefit for the uh, humans, like a end blockage and the uh, healing. All this entire piece of music, it's happened in this key and will bring the same result too. So, oh, you play the same piece of it, music in a different key, and result will be different. So that's how the ancient scholar already realized. I, I think this is based on their practice. Different organ have a different function too. Uh, for example, the heart. Hard, it's uh, manage our happiness and joy. So uh, anything related with happiness and joy all involve the heart. 
So um, not only go one way. If you overjoy, it's hurt your heart. Mm. A lot of cases, like a, um, a lot of people have experienced, you surprise me, someone really had a lot of ticket, they think it's happy for them, and they can pass out. <laughs> so that is why, because this overjoy will hurt them too, because overuse their heart energy and they couldn't handle. Grieving always happened. It's your lung. Pretty much um, if you see someone always very negative, always tearing, grieving, you can see either this person's lung is very weak or have some disease. Um, liver is for anger, recharged anger. So that's, we really just based on this five elements to play this five tone, five key piece that uh, make. And people, it's very sad, or you are experience sadness and want to get like a recover song, you just play often this good for most is uh, um, the uh, key uh, tone and uh, to bring out this uh, sadness like I uh, showed you that uh, Yang Guan San Die how about I play that? Just that would be wonderful. If in the funeral, you always can hear one is this piece because it's so proper to get everyone to understand the same level. <laughs>
that can make your craving release. Craving is not good for anyone, but when you had a sadness, a family member passed away, or like a very traumatic thing happened, that's nature for human being have the feeling. But it's not easy to copy. You have to find all the way, try to release. So if you listen or play certain piece like this, it's like a, it's the way, the more you talk out and the uh, toxin will be leaving you quicker. So that's the way uh, to do. This is a, this type of piece, I'll give you another it's a sad piece, but it's sad in joy. Mm. This just gave you uh, remember the past time longing for something, but not that sad. It is a sad piece too. Grieving, it's the most difficult topic to cope, really. Timing is the one. I think the next one should go with the music. At that time, you either listen for certain piece you need to know how to listen what type of piece. You couldn't have a wrong piece can make you more grieving. Right. So it is. So the, that uh, situation, you really have the professional come in to yeah. tell you which piece it's good for you to release yeah. your grieving. You said that the heart is a fire mm -hmm. element. Mm -hmm. Is there a song that would be you know good for a healing in the that fire element heart space? For heart, a little bit uh, difficult. Like a, I couldn't just pick, pick like one piece entirely just uh, for the heart. Okay. Let me think one it may really uh, gain a little bit. I, I don't know how to describe this other than the inside of my heart was being swabbed out with, you know, like you're very sensitive with a medicine. This, the, this is a really heartbreaking piece. So that's what I. So it's like the deep chambers of so, like somebody, I didn't yes. even know I had those corners and somebody was down in there cleaning out the inside of it. This is all, you know, generations and centuries of study and continuation of knowledge on top of. And um, and and it's it's really important to continue it on. And I I just am so blessed that you are carrying it to you know into the people around you, but also into other generations. Of because my middle name is Lucky. Because <laughs> I am Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> but we really want to thank you too for opening your home to us, opening your studio, and. You have a generosity of your spirit that always makes me feel 
um, very happy to know you, very happy that you're on the planet Thank doing you. all of the things that you are doing because you share so much and you are building bridges continually every day with everything that you do and all of your healing work and helping us to understand ourselves better, both through the recognition of our own body and our systems and how they interconnect and how music can help lift all of those things to better health. So thank you from I, my heart. I should say thank you from deep of my heart, really, and uh, cross my bridge and uh, reach to the person as you. And uh, I be accepted by the society, lovely. So that's the way I pay back. Mm -hmm. If anyone, any age, want to learn, want to learn from different culture-wise, or different instrument, or even just health, like a, a better uh, well-being, like a, uh, like make daily life more interest. Welcome. That sounds just great. Just contact with me. And you can contact Kathy with the information that you see there on your screen. And, um, and again, from the Everhart Museum and our second Sunday's Folk Arts Series, thank you all for joining us today. We hope that you've enjoyed the time. We hope you've learned and grown a little bit in many, many ways. And we also hope that you'll join us next month on the second Sunday Folk Arts Series. Thank you to the Pennsylvania Council on the Arts for helping us to play this important role in getting our community to understand and know each other just a little bit better. Have a wonderful day. This piece name is a high mountain and the rolling water because we like nature. So most time you faced and you like a experienced observed all around the nature. In the high mountain, well, mountain will give you a, like a very grand, very like a solid there. So most you consider like a just a be the young, the man's muscular this time. But without water, this mountain cannot be that pretty. Look like a, mm, uh, Ritz Glen, so many waterfall attract how many people go there to mm, visit every day. So tell us one thing, in young relationship, doesn't matter how young, you have to have in to make you more beautiful. And uh, how, doesn't matter how in, like an ocean or water, without the rock, without the hill, to do the comparison, no one will know you either. 